everybody, and welcome to this wonderful extended version of Conversation Corner. I am your host, Deborah Toscano for Rahman Studios Limited, and boy, do I have some show for you today. You're asking me, what's behind me? Where am I? We're in Cape Cod. Why? Because we are premiering our blockbuster movie, Snitches, the latest, latest hit movie from Rahman Studios Limited up here in the Cape. And we're doing our live conversation corner from Dino's On Deck. He is our sponsor for our show today. Today is a completely different conversation corner. You've seen all of these guests on my one-on-one -on -one show. And they've been aired and you guys have seen them. Today, I have all of them, or at least most of them, in the corner. But it's a round table. So I have the Dukes and Duchesses of Conversation Corner and of Snitches. So ladies and gentlemen, sit back, relax, grab a drink because we're in a sports bar because after this we are having our second premiere party and our second premiere screening of Snitches, the movie. We'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back to Conversation Corner. I'm your host, Deborah Toscano for Rahama Studios Limited, and we are here at Dino's On Deck for our extended version, round table of Conversation Corner. So, without further ado, let's cut through all the nonsense, let's just dish the dirt, and I'm gonna bring on all of my guests. First, ladies and gentlemen, my writer, my director, my producer, my extraordinaire, my friend, my cohort, my partner in crime, the one, the only, the mastermind behind Rahman Studios, Mr. Steve Rahman. Steve, come into the corner. Kiss me now. Mwah. Hello, my love. Please have a seat. He's my right hand man. He's sitting right next to me because I'm going to dish the dirt with you. Next up in the corner, ladies and gentlemen, I had another star of snitches. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and the only, Mr. Kenneth Carella. Kenny, come into the corner. Hello, Hi, doll. Baby. How are you? Mwah. Welcome to the corner. Have a seat next to Mr. Rahman. Now, ladies and gentlemen, a very special guest on the corner who you have seen before. The man who has actually put all of this together. The reason that we are up here in Cape Cod. The one and the only, the fabulous and talented Mr. Wayne Soares. Wayne, come to the corner. Get over here. Give me a hug and a kiss. It's great to see you. Love you, love you. I'll gush with you in a little while. Good. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have another star of Snitches, the movie, okay? The handsome devil himself, the one, the only, Mr. Matthew McKay. Maddie, come to the corner. Thank you. Thank and Maddie's partying you. already. Give a kiss. Pleasure. Hello, doll. Welcome. Oh, it's a pleasure to have you. Thank Maddie's you. already partying, partying because he's got a drink in his hand, so we're getting ready to do that in a little while. But last, and so is Kenneth Carolla. We're all, we're all drinking. We're slosh at this point, but that's okay. Um, and we're all going to get naked in a little while. Just kidding. But now, I bring to you one of the snitchettes of snitches, ladies and gentlemen. The lovely, the talented, the gorgeous Miss Laura Faye Lewis. Laura, come to the corner. Hello, doll. Gorgeous dress. I love it. How are you, my love? Great to see you. Great to see you. Thank you. And I want to thank everybody, all you guys, for being here today with me in the corner. They really didn't have a choice. I forced them all to be here. I gave them drinks. I drugged them up and I said, come into the corner and let's dish the dirt. But without, before we go any further, I have to say this. I, I can't do this without my executive everything. And she's actually behind the camera today. So again, uh, so I just want to give a big shout out and lots of love to uh, my stepmom, uh, Mrs. Juanita Rahman. I love you and I couldn't even without you. We love you. We love you. Okay, so awesome. let's just stop the nonsense and get right down to business. We're talking snitches, we're talking premiere party, so here we go. Sit back, put your seatbelts on, grab a drink, because it's going to be a rough ride. Right, Steve, I'm talking to you first. All right. Talk to me about being on set with all these crazy lunatics in snitches. <laughs> and why them? <laughs> yeah. You want the truth or just I want TV? the truth. This is the truth. This is a conversation corner we dish the dirt. <laughs> give, me the, give me the dirt. Um, no, that, phenomenal cast. Um, you can't get any better than this. Some of the some of the cast had bigger roles. Some had supporting roles, but everyone performed as if they were the leading star of this film. You know, Wayne, I can't thank you enough for putting all of this together. Yeah. Driving all those hours just to get on set. Love it. Thank you, Maddie. Mister, uh, can I say? 
Hey, what's up? <laughs> You're gonna say it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> he's the boss. He's the boss, and he pays the bills. He can say anything. Yes, boss. <laughs> Maddie, Maddie is the law of the family. Let's just say it. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Maddie came on set, <laughs> did what he had to do, surprised the hell out of me. Thank you. I can't say enough about you. Thank you, sir. Laura. You're amazing. You know, he came in. <laughs> Got Kevin riled up, and we're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> so much so that Kevin drinks his coffee in the nude ever since he started working on the night. That was on his conversation corner. What can I say? He just blurted that out. I think he wears a onesie when he does that also sometimes. I don't know. Very interesting. Um, but I just got to say a thank you to uh, Eric Wagner for uh, helping yes. me write couldn't, this. Couldn't be here today, unfortunately. Couldn't be here. But um, help me put this all together. He's on set every day. Thank you, man. And Frank Bellino, everyone yes. who couldn't make it. God bless you, Frank. Yes. Daniel bless O'Shea, Frank. Kevin Marcia, all the guys and girls that couldn't be here today. We want to thank you on behalf. We're representing the whole family here today, up in, up, uh, yesterday, up in the Cape. So uh, you guys are with us, even though you're not physically here. We're all together, so uh, it's all good. La Familia. All right. To Steve's right is the one and only Mr. Kenneth Carella. Can you tell the people who you play in the movie? My name is Kenneth Carella, and I play Michael Florentino. Who is a... He's a uh, young punk, young punk trying to come up in the ranks and try to take over. You know, he's trying to step on people's toes and trying to make a name for himself. All right, there you go. Next to me here, ladies and gentlemen, is the big handsome guy himself, Mr. Wayne Swiss. Wayne, who do you play in the movie? I thought you were talking about Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> who do you play in the movie, Wayne? My name is Wayne Swiss, and I play Detective Wayne Bridges. Nice, nice. Yeah. Matthew. Matthew McKay, and I play uh, Detective Cooper. All Part right. Two. Yeah, partners in crime, ladies and gentlemen, right here. It's the law. They are the law. They are the law. And gorgeous Laura, please tell the people who you play. I play Molly, Sal's wife. And Sal, Sal, who is Kevin Marcia, couldn't be here with us today. He was supposed to be up here, but he got called on set with, um, what did he get called? Pacino, I think. Pacino, yes, absolutely. <laughs> and uh, he's writing a book. He couldn't be here today, but he's the one that drinks the coffee in the nude after he worked with her. All right, so. <laughs> well, Pacino has a movie on <laughs> And like I said before, you've seen all these guys and girls in the corner before, but today we're all here together, so anything goes. So let's dish the dirt and let's find out what's happening with everybody. Ken, I'm going to start with you. And I'm going to ask you guys all the same question. How have snitches changed your life? Snitch. Oh, Kenny, I know because you've worked with me. Thank you. <laughs> so lovely of you, Kenny, to say. Oh, my God, I'm flattered. And thank you and good night. <laughs> Thank you, Deborah, for putting those kind words into my mouth. You know, I would have never came up with them on my own. So, uh, snitches, first of all, was a great experience working with a wonderful director, writers, actors, wonderful people, most importantly. Um, gave me an opportunity to play a, a main character and, and take some chances and try to develop what I wanted to do on set. And, it's evident by the finished product that you know, myself and, and the amazing cast included did a phenomenal job. And um, we're just happy that we're able to put a good quality film out there on the, on the independent level for you guys to enjoy. Amen. I'm going to ask you the same question, but I'm going to come back to you later on with that question. Sure. Wayne, how has Snitches changed your life? Uh, you know, since uh, Steve Rahman gave me a tremendous opportunity, uh, it, it, it has. I've developed friendships, uh, lifelong friendships, like Maddie just said. We worked together one day quality people uh, for me to be in a movie with talented, I mean talented people, like Ken, Frank Merlino, Kevin, uh, Daniel, Deborah Laura, Toscano. Deborah Toscano, <laughs> uh, Deborah Toscano, yes, She's I'm great, sorry. guys, she couldn't be here either. I'm sorry, hold that cue card a little higher, please, yeah, <laughs> Deborah Toscano, yeah. Where are my hair and makeup people? <laughs> no, it's just, it, it just wonderful, and uh, I, I love the very cohesiveness of, of the cast, everybody is, is close, and they, you know, hang out on, you know, off screen, right, and it's just right. been, it's, yeah. it's, it's been wonderful, it's been a great experience for me. Awesome, Matt, how is it just I mean, uh, flattery gets you everywhere. <laughs> you changed my life forever, and, uh, because of you. And that is my now. new co-host. Um, how did you corner. change my life? Um, it, you know, this is something I, I've always wanted to do. I, I had an amazing opportunity. Um, went from zero acting to right thrown into the movie, and it's something I love. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited about. It. I'm like a kid in a candy store. It's right. something in. I just renewed in life, and I'm 110% I'm excited, and I love it. I just love it. Did a heck of a job, too. Oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you. I just first, love it. First movie for Matt, and uh, stellar performance. Really thank stellar. Thank you so much. Laura Faye Lewis, tell the people how has Snitches changed your life? Well, it's 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 me just coming back into the business again. You know, after 
several years of being out of it and um, a chance to be part of a real film family. Mm -hmm. um, this is my first real press junket. Right, <laughs> right, right. I mean, it's amazing. Which Wayne Soros single-handedly pulled, pulled together amazing. for all of us. We're up he in did. the cape because of Wayne. I mean, that, that's he really... Did. And Lauren, I want to stay with you for a second. Um, what was the most fun part about working on the movie? Just being thrown into the fire, so to speak, right. you know, not being really um, prepared, but just just trusting my instincts and trusting the director. Right, right. And loving Kevin. And love because Kevin's a phenomenal actor. I have the pleasure of knowing Kevin for quite some time and working with him on other projects, and uh, he's really, really something. He's great. Uh, Matt, same thing for you. Um, what was the most fun about working on set? Um, just so new, so so fresh. Um, there was, uh, I had this one fight scene, and an hour yeah. or so before, we just choreographed it. Um, I worked with Anthony, and uh, Anthony him and I just yellow. clicked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We just clicked. It was just like magic. It was just like it was meant to be. And we did it once or twice, and it just felt so And so guys love, and so love that. Natural. Yeah, guys love that nonsense. They beat the it crap awesome. out of each other. We love it. Girls, like I said this before, girls are like, um, I, manicure, pedicure? I actually had to yell at him, like, hit me harder. He's like, no, I, I, I no, hit my hand, grab me, just throw me around. He's you like, didn't lose any teeth with that, I can't did you? do that. You didn't lose teeth with that? Well, we, we, we did draw blood. blood. We, we did draw blood a couple blood. times. And awesome. somebody, Danny, Wait, 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 wait. For insurance purposes, we did not draw blood. We did not draw blood. No, I curled my hair. I don't know. I'm just saying things. Wait, what was the most fun part for you on, on set with Well, I, I was just disappointed. I was pissed because all the beautiful girls on there, I couldn't suck face with anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm in a car with Maddie McKay eating donuts, yeah, right? <laughs> going back and forth. I mean, you no donuts. sex scenes with you or Laura or Lauren, Kim <laughs> Barsley. Jeez. So, no, wait, no nude scenes for you in no, this movie? No, no, no. Well, in no, the no, next no. movie, Wayne, we got a surprise for you. <laughs> wow. Uh, donuts and I, sex with women. Hopefully, it's not the blow off guy. <laughs> I just, um, it, it was. It was great uh, for me because Steve is, is such a, you know, he's an actor's dire uh, director and he just kept the pace moving so fast and he's very creative there's always lots of action and, and that's great for, you know, for an actor. So I, I thought that was, yeah. Excellent. Ken, best part of working on set, the most fun? The best part was getting the opportunity to work because, you know, it was a last minute opportunity. I got called by Steve, he said, I need you to come down, uh, I want you to play, uh, initially Rocco. And then the last minute he turned my character into Mikey. Right. And the first day on set, you know, I didn't know anyone except for Chris. And so the Chris Victor, who's another yes, snitch, yep. A phenomenal actor. And you know, the apprehensiveness is like, okay, what do they expect from me? What, what, what? And just building the relationship and the camaraderie with all the other actors, to me, that was that was the most inspiring, the most fun. Right. Steve, for you, most fun on set. Uh, just having a chance to work with all these great people. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna comment on that. I mean, I have a small role in Snitches, but uh, my role uh, was we were completely improv. I had the pleasure of working with Daniel O'Shea, and the scene was complete improv, and we laughed from start to finish, and it just scene. just yeah. a funny. Thank you. you nailed it. Thank you. Yeah. It's, a really, it's a really funny scene, but he's a stellar actor. And Daniel, we love you from the Cape, and we love you in New York anyway. So uh, I my, that was the most fun for me to to be called, and you're like, you want to do a little thing? I'm like, sure, I'll do it. It's all. A show too? Do you want to do a whole show? Uh, and, thing? Whole show. And, then he goes, and by the way, at this talk show, would you like to do it? I'm like, no, I have no time for that. <laughs> and, here so, and here we are. Here we are. That's one of my on my bucket list. How lucky am I? What a girl! I'm such a lucky girl. Um, let's see. Let's see. I have, you know, this is kind of kind of odd. Um, I used to joke about this with some of the some of the snitches, but this is really happening. Um, we have a lot of fans across the nation, actually, actually, and also in Australia. Um, we have some fans that wrote in, and they wrote to me on my, my Facebook page, Conversation Corner. They had some questions for all of our snitches here today. You mean and you're going to ask us unscripted I'm going to questions? Unscripted questions oh, from yeah. the viewers and the fans. Some came to our premiere in New York a couple of weeks ago, but most of them wrote in. So when you think you don't have fans all over, <laughs> wow, holy moly. And the things that they asked, and they asked me to ask you guys, Woohoo! Grab a drink because this is going to be pretty crazy stuff. All right, so we're going to tighten this nonsense up. All right, so our individual question. The first one comes from Janine, and she's from New Jersey. And she asks a question for all of the group, obviously except for Laura and I. Boxer briefs or tidy whities What is that? Janine, really? That's a pretty freaky question. Well, Ken. I will start, and I will be 
happy to say I don't wear either. Whoa! Whoa. Kenneth goes commando and cut and print. Thanks for making it brief. <laughs> <laughs> That's very brief. Um, I know that that you guys like this. brief list. Steve, I, 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 I know, no, you sit down, Kenneth. I know that you're girls behind the camera, but Janine wants to know. Yeah, that's another show. Box of briefs and tidy whities. Uh, all right, I don't wear. You could take the fifth. I don't wear boxes because I don't like to dangle. Yeah. I, I need dangle. To be, I need to be held together. Dangling is no good. Because I'm I'm all over the place. You know, I'm on the floor, up and down, can't have them smacking wow. around. I need is a lucky what girl. What am I doing? What's she doing to you? What, 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 yes, we're drinking, and yes, this is getting crazy. So, yeah, okay. Yeah. Are you yeah. done with that now? I'm done. Okay, I need a cigarette after that. Um, <laughs> wait, talk, talk, talk to the people. The, Listen, Janine I'm wants good. to know. Your box are all the way. Dom DeLuise, I borrowed it from Archie Bunker, and uh, I'm all set. Boxer, yeah, have Archie Bunker's boxes? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I can clean them. <laughs> <laughs> Matt? Boxer briefs. Boxer briefs. I don't briefs. do tidy what is too much. Too much, right? Too much. Can't breathe. breathe. There's too, too much stuff. But I will. I will speak on behalf of my. <laughs> my son. Laura, do you want to answer that question? Um, like, silk. She's sure she wants to know. She's probably Laura writing a book. She's on the last page. Silk or cotton? Silk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this two old guys just fell satin. over. In the <laughs> I wear Janine just get your water out. I wear um, satin and lace. Woo. Oh wow! Okay, she just wanted to know. Wow. Um, okay, this is actually for Laura Faye. Um, John from East Hampton wants to know what was your. This is such a crazy question. What was your best costume in a movie that you ever wore? That's an oddball question, but John, we like you from East Hampton. Besides, for nothing. <laughs> no, not yet. Laura Faye does not they have to new team. That's right. They that's have to pay it. me a lot. A lot of money. A lot. That's in the next budget. So what was your favorite costume? John wants to know. Oh, I played a homeless woman in a film recently called 86 My Life. And I got to be a bag lady. So I got to put my whole outfit together. And it was, it was really... So you look really homeless. authentic. Very hot. Homeless. You got that, John? East Hampton? You're not homeless if you're living in the Hamptons, buddy. I, All didn't, right. I didn't even shave for quite Damn. a few days. So I'm she went rogue all the way. The arms, you know? Google that nonsense, John. Google it. Okay. Uh, Jane, okay. Jane from, uh, from New York asks Wayne, which is a question for Wayne. <laughs> Wayne, no. She wants to know, uh, she obviously is a, is a follower of you, but she wants to know where are you performing next? And where can she see you? And will you marry me? Jane whoa, whoa, whoa. wants to marry whoa. Wayne. <laughs> What's the budget? Uh, yeah. <laughs> How big of a ring would you like? <laughs> the Huntington uh, Townhouse is out of business, so you can't have the Huntington Townhouse anymore, Jane. Oh, what? Uh, I'm, I'm going to be doing some comedy uh, at the end of July. I'll uh -huh. be over at uh, Landstuhl Regional Medical Center over in Germany, uh, doing some military hospitals, entertaining the troops. And uh, as far as being married, uh, I'm, I'm fortunately I'm taken. <laughs> so I'd, I'd love to entertain that thought, Jane, but I can't cheat on... You know, you know the old thing, Helen Reddy, I think, was you make me feel like a natural woman. That was Aretha. 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 I am woman. Hear me wrong. Um, Jane, don't, don't Google me and kill me because I'm, I'm with me. Um, okay, Kenny, this question is for you. Suzanne from New Jersey uh, asks, um, are you single? And she says, wait, wait, wait. She said, I'm, she's in New Jersey. I don't know why she says she's your neighbor. But she wants to know if you're single. Do you know a Suzanne? I don't from know. New Jersey, who was a, who was your former neighbor? Wow, no, I don't. And she wasn't know if you're single. Are you cute? Maybe I, I might be. It's all about the personality, Ken. It's all about the smile. The smile. You got a great smile. That's step one. Suzanne, Google yes, him. Yes, I, I am single. By the way, everybody has a Facebook page and a Twitter, and you can find them. Instagram too. Instagram, Instagram shows all the pitches, all the pitches of the snitches. <laughs> um, okay, this actually this is a question for Laura Faye and me. Uh, Bobby from K Kansas, really? He Kansas, Kansas. He, he asks, "Are you two married?" Uh, I'm not married to her. <laughs> She's not married to me. Laura, do you want to answer that question? Well, I'm not married to Deborah, but I did play a lesbian once. Um, I'm not I am married. Yes, and that's okay. I'm married. So, are, you, are, are, you a, are you a lesbian who's married now? Um, my, clarify, my husband he's wishes. He's from Kansas. He may not understand. My husband it. wishes. I smell a new shirt. <laughs> I'm proud to say that. So you Laura, haven't fulfilled that fantasy with you? <laughs> Not yet, no. So Laura, Laura Faye, you're married, yes? Yes. Laura Faye is married and she's taken. Uh, I will take the fifth on that question. <laughs> the, host, the host never gives out the details of her own life. That's not fair. Ooh. Okay, whatever. Anyway. Told me what kind of underwear you wear. <laughs> <Mary. laughs> uh, let's see, Maddie, this question is for you. Oh, Ooh, somebody must know you because they ask, uh, what is your favorite cigar? Julie from Australia. How do you know Julie from Australia? I, I don't. Matt, what's going on? I have no Dish the dirt. I knew Julie from 
from uh, Australia. She wants to know what your favorite cigar is, and she also um, says, wait, 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 I'm not done. Yeah. Two parts. Oh, oh yeah, well, okay. answer the favorite cigar, because she obviously yes, wants to know, go ahead, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. sorry. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I smoke many different cigars, but I like to smoke them. Um, Tobacco special. Tobacco special. Oh, yeah. Excuse for me. Excuse for me. Right? Sounds very extremely fancy. Like, yeah. Especial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. um, well, she must be stalking your Facebook page oh, because boy. she says uh, you look like a brunette Robert Redford. Do you know of him? I I know a blonde Robert Redford. A blonde. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But, I know who he is. Right. Okay. So. Well, so thank you very much. Julie from Australia. He knows who Robert Redford. We <laughs> actually all know who Robert Redford is, uh, and Matt knows knows who that is. Um, okay, this is a question. Hang on a second. I think I have some more questions. Um, oh, I wanted to say this before we go any, any further. If you notice that all of us are wearing, or most of us are wearing, uh, orange bracelets, snitches, raise your hands, orange bracelets. Uh, these were from Wayne. Wayne, can you talk about that for a second? Uh, just to, to uh, bullying is not cool. I'm very passionate about it, do a lot of it around the country, and uh, thank you guys for, for supporting me. Absolutely. I, I had some in my car, so these guys are looking at me like, where's That's, my bracelet? Uh, yeah. Wayne, would you mind uh, I, handing a couple out? I, I will get you guys one, you know, I promise. I mean, yes. Speaking of bracelets, I have a gift. Oh, what? my heavens, what a perfect a gift. lead. Laura Faye, Laura Faye Lewis, a gift for who? Got me a Is it for me? Laura got me a cigar, guys. Don't she got uh, a special, guess, a special, a special gift. gift for our wonderful hostess, oh. with the mostess. Wow. Me? That, that's amazing. Oh what is Did you it? make that? Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, my that God. I'm going to open this right now because my mother knows that I'm this type of girl. She gives me jewelry for, for Christmas and I put it right on. I don't care if I have 10 Very earrings nice. on. I'm Very wearing nice. That. Um, Very that nice. Is, look, 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 it look, says, look, look, look. It says wow, like, snitches, snitches and yeah. diamonds. Woo. And I'm going to put that on like right now. Wow. As that must I, have cost you about 20000 you know, it it's, it's, wow. it's, it's It's Tiffany wow. Snitches bracelet. Tiffany, Tiffany oh, Snitches bracelet. Tiffany, are you listening? You Laura. can make it for our fabulous okay. women. Louis. That is, I'm was, so touched, yeah. and I'm to so touched. Tiffany touch. Company. We'll take a Rolex, <laughs> Tiffany. We'll take that, a Rolex. Tiffany from that's Kansas. That's a wonderful gift. I, 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 I was going to get, you know, I could go back and get the guy's that's one, because it's black, it's kind of cool. This is, this is cool. amazing, I would wear one. and I love it. Does it come in a dog collar? I am thrilled. No, no, no. If it comes in a dog collar, we're all going to get one, and we're going to have a... That's an extra week. We're going to have a... Very nice. That is gorgeous, and I love it. I'll cherish it forever, and it's a memento of of this wonderful weekend that we're having up here in the cave, and I'm a snitch. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, you know, I have a couple more questions that I want to ask. These are not questions from the audience uh, or, or fans that watch, but they're questions that I wanted to know. And I'm going to ask each of you guys this question. Um, I know we're a little tight on time because we got to get to our premiere party and drink, but I'm going to ask quickly, so if you guys could be a little swift on the answers, I would appreciate that. Okay. Kenneth, we'll start with you. Um, what's important to you in your life? I think the most important things in my life are amazing people surrounding me, surrounding me, friends, family, my son, um, people that you could love and trust. And I think that's, without that type of bond and friendship, you don't have much. Awesome. Steve-O, what's important to you? I can tell you who's important to you. Who's important to you? Oh, there we go. Oh, young lady that's his boo. That's his boo, my executive everything, Juanita Rahman, because we all love her, and how could you not love her? And you're a very lucky man. Yeah, without her, I can't do any of Shut your head. I'm going to cry. It's all her support that, uh, that keeps me going. Amazing. I need a man to say that to me. Music. Wayne. Yeah. Wait. What's important in your life? What's important in my a good bowel movement? I'll tell you that. <laughs> I haven't had one in about three months, and I'll tell you that right now. No. Um, He's out of his obviously. Mind. Uh, this has been all week, folks. I will. I will tell you my uh, my children, my family, my, my daughter, and my, my two sons, and my family. As uh, to quote Tom Hagen and the Godfather, uh, "Tu familia esta bosco." See, see, Matthew, what's most important to you? Um, as you know, I'm a cancer patient, so everything is important to me. Just being able to, the little things, not the big fancy cars, the watches, all that stuff is nice. Right. It's the little things. Being humble, friendships, new experiences, and uh, just living life. That's it. Simple. 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 Easy peasy, baby. Yes. Simple. Amen. Amen. Sometimes you only... need to be put in check. Yeah, that's right. Uh -huh. He's not only a cancer patient, but he's a cancer survivor. Survivor. So, yeah. 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 amen to that. Awesome. Amen to that. Thank you. Thank you. Miss Laura Faye, what's important to you in your life? Love, health, and work. Awesome. They asked what's important to me. 
Sex. Dirty sex. Oh. That is gonna go right there. No, I'm kidding. You My said, mother's like, You're not kidding. You said what everybody was thinking. <laughs> it didn't it happen. No one political on me. I, I want to save the world. World peace is important. Have <laughs> that. Sex. Down and dirty. Bring it on. Lingerie. Candles. Who gives a shit? Oh. All right. Uh, <laughs> let me tell you. Real. Let's go keeping it real in the corner. I got one more question. Uh, and my last question for you guys, if I can find it, is um, I don't even know where it is. Oh, here we go. Kenneth, I want to start with you. And again, I'm going to tell you guys to keep it short because we've got a party to go to and a screening to do. Um, <clears throat> what are you waiting for in your life? <laughs> What's the thing you are waiting for in your life? An amazing woman to come sweep me right off my feet. <laughs> I love it. Steve-O, what's, 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 what are you waiting for in your life? Uh, I'm waiting for that moment when I could say, regular day job, I'm done with your ass. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and I can move to a ranch with my wife and make movies right there all day long. How about up in the Cape? We saw some really cool places. I'd love to be. Love There's it. There's some great ranches here in the love Cape. It. Yeah. Love it, love it, love it. I know people there, too. Well, <laughs> Wayne knows everybody, but he's like everybody. the major league president. <laughs> Wayne know? <laughs> Uh, what, are you, what are you waiting for in your life? Just, uh, 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 I just a uh, uh, wow, you got me. Uh, phenomenal opportunity to um, to just enhance my my career. Uh, Rahman Studios has given me the great foundation. Uh, they've they've brought me on board. They've given me every opportunity in the world to increase my skills, and uh, <coughs> I just got to keep going after that. Matt. Um, what are you waiting for in your life? Um, it's not about what I'm waiting for, more so is uh, I, I would love to, to, I mean this is an amazing opportunity, I would love to see this, this, this grow where I could have more time, it's really time, it's about time, spending time mm -hmm. with people that I love and just being able to experience life and do things, it's time. Right. Awesome. Not having to go to work one day and just <laughs> where do you want to go today? Let's get on the plane. Let's just just go. enjoying That's simple it. things. An day. island somewhere? I don't know. That's just saying. Where are you going to go saying. today? Let's go to the island. <laughs> Which one? I don't think Let's go on the pina colada. That everybody. would be one. Just time. Just time. Awesome. Laura Faye, what are you waiting for in your life? Well, I, I kind of like what you said, Maddie, about, you know, it's not so much about <clears throat> the time is a gift. So I would say. It's a gift. <sighs> Just to be able to continue doing what I'm doing now on a on a on a bigger level, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like awesome. Steve too. Awesome. What am I waiting for? You ask. Sex. Dirty sex. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. I'm teasing. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, Dino, am I waiting for Dino? Dino, 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 I'm waiting for Dino. Um, what am I waiting for? You ask me. Be sincere, though. What I'm, I am going to be. You know what? That's that's. I will. All kidding all aside. All joking aside. What am I waiting for? I'm really not waiting for anything because I am living my dream. I am blessed. I'm happy. I have a great family. I have great people that surround me uh, here and, and back home in New York. Um, do I strive for more? Just like everybody? Absolutely. Do we want more? Absolutely. You wouldn't be uh, truthful to yourself if you said that you were not striving and wanting more. But I'm pretty content, but I'm not satisfied just yet. So there's more coming on the pipe for me and for all of my wonderful guests. So uh, with that note, I will conclude this wonderful version of Conversation Corner. We're here today uh, in Cape Cod in Mashpee at Dino's On Deck. Dino was so gracious enough to not only host our second premiere party here in the Cape, uh, but to allow us to host or allow me to host Conversation Corner here right in his location, which is fabulous. So if you're in the neighborhood, come by for a drink, some great food, some great pizza. Amazing. Dino's awesome. Dino is great. Thank you, Dino. Dino. We love Dino. 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 We love Dino. you, Dino. We love you. We love you. Uh, behind the camera today is my Dino. Come on. Dino, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Dino. Come say hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
I have Mr. Wayne Soares. I have Mr. Matthew McKay. I have Ms. Laura Faye Lewis. I have the one, the only, the mastermind, the king of the dynasty of Rahman Studios, Mr. Steve Rahman. And I am your host, Ms. Deborah Toscano. And this has been Conversation Deborah Corner. Toscano. And from all of us here in the corner, kisses from us to you. And we will see you next time. Thanks for tuning in, guys. See you later.